Okay. So, what do you want to know? You rolling? Yeah. All right. Hmm. Concentrate, take your time, enjoy it. It'll be over in three minutes. One of the most important days in British constitutional history, but ultimately we are still very much in the dark. As the UK As to prepared Brexit to leave the European mean? Union, a documentary crew was given unfettered access to the UK's now notorious so guys, Westminster journalist, Jonathan Pye. I'm going to talk to as many people as I can to try and get to the bottom of the... the... Yeah, the I'm trying to think of a word that describes Brexit without using the word clusterfuck. They went behind the scenes and behind the headlines. I love this, I love it. I love it, sort of election time and referendums and stuff and all these sort of tents and everything. Reminds me of scout camp. Just, uh, just with less games of soggy biscuit. Except in the Sky News tent, of course. And captured some of the ups and downs of modern journalism during one of the most complex moments in modern British history. Where's my tent? Which one's my tent? Adam Bolton's got a tent. Victoria Derbyshire's got a tent. Why haven't I got a tent? I know for a fact Krishnan Guru Murphy has his own bag man, yeah? Wouldn't catch him having to do his own fuck. That's health and safety. What the crew didn't know was that they were about to document a broadcast career in free fall. Brexit. It's been two and a half, Jesus Christ. After the banking crash of 2008, we were all promised change by the establishment. What we got was austerity. We were all in it together. Is it any wonder 17 and a half million people did a big fuck you to the establishment and decided to jump off a cliff? Did you vote leave, Jonathan? What the fuck has that got to do with anything? But did you? on a day of pro and anti-Brexit marches. An extraordinary week of twists and turns, but can Theresa uh, May So turn we're around? here today to do a quick live link about two opposing Brexit marches that are happening in the centre of town. Brexit! No! Alerta! Alerta! Anti-fascista! Hopefully we'll get a fight on camera or something. Oh, and we've, uh, we've got to do some Vox Pops. Vox Pops. It, it is by far the worst part of the job, bar none. Does anyone want to be interviewed? Talking okay. to normal people, getting to know the public, it's soul destroying. I can ask you why did you vote leave? Because One random person's opinion. That's not news, that's an opinion. Um, generally we do less Vox Pops these days because of course now we have Twitter. Sweet. Thanks guys. Uh, which is a godsend. You, know, you just trawl through it and someone somewhere is saying exactly what you want them to say. It's, it's journalism for toddlers, really. So with Vox Pops, you're always looking for the extremes, really. So with Remainers, you want the upset ones. You know, shouting or crying is always good. And with lead voters, obviously you're looking for the ones who look a bit racist. I'm just having trouble finding any really sort of racist ones. Yeah, you'd think, wouldn't you? But um, you can't just politely go up to someone and ask them to drop the N-word on national television. Apparently it's rude to even ask. You are? T Tommy Robinson. Seriously, where? Where? OK, all right, racists. We've got some racists. Come on, let's move, people. Anyone else fancy a chat? No, this is BBC. Excuse me, it's a documentary. Can I explain? OK. Right. Fuck don't, off, you, you don't, don't want me. On your boy. All right, I'm trying to do a documentary yeah, to prove, but I'm sorry, I, d I don't understand. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get to understand, I'm trying to disprove this narrative that everyone that voted leave is stupid and racist and thick and don't know what they voted Go for. Go now while I'm, I'm still being polite. Let's get the fuck out of here, come on. Now that is the sort of thing we're after. I mean, they weren't explicitly racist, but they were quite rude. They were wearing UKIP Gillettes. And most damningly of all, she was fat and working class. What more evidence of racism do you need? I found the whole thing a bit confusing. 
if I'm honest. I mean, you had a pro-Brexit UKIP march with Tommy Robinson as guest speaker for some unknown reason, and then you had an anti-Tommy Robinson march. I think Tommy Robinson wants this to be an anti-Brexit march. Tommy Robinson wants to now become the leader of Brexit. I've never really understood what Tommy Robinson has got to do with the Leave campaign anyway. Hello, Brexit dog. Hello, hello, beautiful. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. You're all right for a left of you, you know. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, I'm all right. So we've got enough footage, uh, so we're gonna go back to the office, put it all together into a package, uh, ready for tonight's news, and then I've got to run over to Westminster, because fingers crossed, I just bagged an interview with Amber Rudd. So, uh, what's this? Shit. Fuck. Fucking hell. Fuck. Here we go, here we go, this is it, this is it, this is it. That's the bastard. And is this what people do, is it? Follow round Z-listers, trying to make out that they've just joined the fucking clan? It was a fucking selfie. That's them. Selfies with fascists, fuck off. Fucking hell. Shit. <sighs> okay, we need to get back to the office. Okay. Yeah. Well done, very good. Well done. Jonathan yeah. Pye's Lee voting scum. Hey, look at this, this is my favourite one. Now what's this? Who's this? It's the guy from Die Hard. What, Alan Rickman? No, it's the coker that sides with the villains. And um, what happens to him? They get shot in the head for being a smarmy twat. Brilliant. Uh, I honestly hope me and Pi are in the same queue for the gas or the gallows so I can tell him what a cunt he is. That's nice, isn't it? Seriously, though? What? Did you vote leave? It's all over Facebook, you dark horse. What, what if I did? What then? What, you, you're going to put a complaint into HR because I didn't vote the way you did? What, you're going to unfollow me on Facebook? I've seen your voting record and I don't want to be your friend anymore. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. Brilliant. I'm not sure we're going to be able to show that. Can you describe what that is? Yeah, OK, um, so it's me with a Hitler moustache being shagged by Nigel Farage, who has a huge big black cock. And the only reason I'm mentioning the colour of the big black cock is to demonstrate quite how rudimentary the photoshopping skills are of the person who used company time and resources to... Hello, IT. Yeah, yeah, I need to change my password again. What the fuck were you thinking? Yeah, I wasn't... A I'll call you back, OK? No, I wasn't on the march with them. It wasn't, oh, Jonathan Pye, six o'clock news, goose stepping down Whitehall. That isn't what happened. They asked for a selfie. What was I supposed to say? No. How am I supposed to know who's a far-right nut job and who's a... It was a Nazi march. It was, it was a UKIP march. It was a pro-Brexit UKIP march. We Tommy Robinson at the helm. Look, it didn't seem like a Nazi march to me. Some of these people have dogs, OK? Really nice dogs. Hitler like dogs. Right. Dan, Amber Rudd, oh, come and you, on. I need more Vox Pots for tonight's report. You are an evil human being. Young people, OK? I want a millennials view on Brexit. Brilliant. Vox popping millennials. That'll be my degree coming in handy again. I will. Don't take up the arse for many Nazis on the way out. Describe to me your average Leave voter. Jesus Christ. I'm your average Leave voter. Doesn't exist, does it? Anyway. Sorry. OK. Um, describe to me your average Leave voter. Older ones, innit? Elderly and that. Yep. How old are you guys? I'm 17, 16. 18. So in 2008, you were? Four. Five. Five. So, so when the global financial crash happened, when the, the event that was the catalyst for a huge shift towards populism happened, you were all still watching CBeebies. They don't know anything. They, they know nothing about politics. I bet they've never even watched The West Wing. Look, I'm not saying all Lee voters would have been like racist or xenophobic, but like all racists and xenophobes would have voted to leave. OK, I've been interviewing people on this subject for about four years now and that is definitely the most ignorant thing I've heard. All right, give me one example why a racist or a xenophobe would vote to remain in the EU. I hate the blacks and all Norwegians are wankers, but I'm voting to stay in the EU because I think it will be better for our economy. How's that? Hashtag gammon pie.
still trending. Far right apologist, fash adjacent. Hey. What now? What now? I'm your average leave voter. I hate the blacks. All Norwegians are wankers. I'm your average leave voter. I hate the blacks. All Norwegians are wankers. I'm your average leave voter. I hate the blacks. All Norwegians are wankers. I'm your average leave voter. I hate the blacks. All Norwegians are wankers. That's disgusting. <laughs> Here comes the grovelling apology. No. Do you mean no? No. I'm not going to apologise. Do you see this? Do you see this? I've seen it. No, this. This is everything that is wrong. This, this is Brexit. This is the state of political discourse in this country. This is the state of journalism in this country. You speak to the wrong person. You dare to even listen to the wrong opinion. You dare to stick up for someone's right to express an opinion that you might not even agree with. That's it. Out they come, out the woodwork. Hordes of privately educated middle class twats demonstrating how fucking liberal they are by shouting Nazi at anything they don't like the look of. Herds of virtuous, brain-dead, woke zombies wandering around aimlessly, writing their Guardian columns, calling for tolerance, whilst also calling anyone that voted differently to them a bigot, or unconsciously biased, which means I've decided you're a bigot, you just don't know you are. This is why people wait until they're in the voting booth before they express their opinion. Because if you stray from the prevailing liberal wind, that is it. They will try and ruin you and discredit you and shame you by calling you right wing. Me, fucking right wing. What? Because I dared not to refuse someone's request for a selfie. Because I refused to sign up to this ridiculous notion that everyone that voted leave is a racist. Right wing? I give five pounds a month to Greenpeace, you wankers! Right wing, racist, a fascist, or worse still, the worst insult they can think of, a leave voter. Leave voting scum. It's fucking disgusting and I am sick of it. So no, I will not apologise because I haven't done anything wrong. Finished? I don't know, am I? <coughs> Fuck off. Fuck off! The police are here. And then... And then you guys turned up. Look, look, this is, this is ridiculous. It's been taken totally out of context. There have also been other complaints. What do you mean, other complaints? Historical homophobic tweets. What does that even mean? This is from seven years ago. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Do you remember when we all used to use the word gay? as a kind of, it was sort of ironically sort of okay. You know, everything was a bit gay. So how gay is that? You remember? Simon and Andy, right? They remember them? They, they used to sit here, didn't they? And we all used to call it the gay ghetto, didn't we? And they loved it. They loved it. How gay is that? Remember? Look, I have the greatest respect for policemen. It's police officers these days. Jesus Christ, you're going to arrest me for that? First it's selfies with fascists, now it's hurting blacks and Norwegians. It was just black Norwegians, actually. But don't write that down, it was ironic. No, it was a hate crime. Did you vote leave, Jonathan? What the fuck has that got to do with anything? But did you? No, of course I fucking didn't. What do you think I am, a fucking idiot? I think the state of a nation's journalism is often a pretty good indicator of the state of a nation as a whole. And right now, it's in a right fucking state.